So, hey everybody, I'm Joseph. I'm Aditya. I'm Andy. And our project is the Autonomous Sorting Algorithm Manipulator. That thing. So, um, our first idea was to make a pyramid using NXTs. It's like the instrument you play with, like, moving your hands up and down in, like, air. And that, but we didn't think ultrasound would be sensitive enough, so we had to scrap that idea. Also, I just didn't think it was cool. So our second idea was that we were going to make a spherical rolling robot. There'd be a pendulum inside that moved it left, right, forward, backward. But then the only problem was the Lego motors weren't strong enough to actually move the pendulum around. So we had to get rid of that idea also. So we wanted to actually focus on the programming aspect of NXT, because there's less limitations there than, our mechan than the mechanical aspects, which is why we had to scrap our two previous projects. So our final idea was to make a sorting algorithm robot. Since sorting algorithms are a big thing in computer science, we wanted a robot that could move and grab blocks to illustrate sorting algorithms really obviously. So uh, our robotic arm has three motors. Uh, one turns left this way. One moves it up and down. So here's what here's two motors, here's one motor, and you can see those are the two other motors. So the claw, we had a lot of issues with the claw in terms of like picking up the blocks. So in order to fix that we had like rubber rings on the one side and that allowed us to uh, a lot of traction. <coughs> it holds blocks well. And we had some other mechanical problems as well. So initially we were gonna scan the object either with a touch sensor and ultrasound sensor but neither were accurate enough, and we were also going to first initially use cards. It was going to pick up cards instead of blocks. But we changed to blocks because it's easier to manipulate. And now the sorting part of our robot. So our robot demonstrates four sorting algorithms. They are the bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort, and heap sort. And we'll go more into it later. They were just, they were supposed to be yeah, There's supposed to be animations, but... But first there's big O notation. So big O notation is used to determine the or describe the efficiency of sorting algorithms. So you have two sorting algorithms, you can determine which one is faster based on the big O notation. So basically, bigger, big O is bad. <laughs> so the bubble sort. So this is the most inefficient sort out there. It's kind of like the laughing stock among the sorting algorithms. It has a big O of n squared complexity, and which means if there's like n elements in a set, it'll scan, it'll do it n squared times. And then insertion sort also has n squared uh, complexity. Uh, and how it works is it inserts elements into the proper little position, so it splits it up into two sub uh, arrays pretty much, <coughs> a sorted array and an unsorted array. And it keeps going through the list and puts them into the sorted array. And selection sort. Although this also has an n squared complexity, this is what the more efficient one. And what it does, it scans the entire list, it looks for the lowest element, and it bumps to the top. And then it goes down the list completely. So that's the move to no, the position. Zero. Oh, zero. Yeah, yeah, zero. But our most complex sort was heap sort, um, which comes in two main steps. First step is building heap, which is kind of like that thing, where um, each element is bigger than two elements below it. And so it's not an actual like, literal heap. And second step is sorting heap, which you would see here, but there's no animation. Um, but so to sort the heap, they would dis you would s successively swap elements and then rebuild the heap. And um, heap sort actually comes in n log n complexity, which is more efficient. As you can see here, it's the most efficient of the um, four sorts in like actual standard performance. But um, in our mechanical performance, selection sort outperformed it because um, like our swaps took a lot of time. Um, but our um, oh hey data, so um, we actually took data for eight, six, and four elements for all four sorts. And as you can see, selection sort vastly outperforms the other three. You can also tell this is kind of linear. Yeah, yeah, so look, selection sort is actually linear growth, whereas heap sort, you can kind of see like the logarithmic growth, and both bubble and insertion are increased exponentially with the number of elements, as you increase from 4, 6 to 8. And so we'd like to thank Professor Dadell, Mr. Huang, and Mr. Chris for all their help and making this all possible. And we also thank Yujin Lee for his help with the graphical user interface. Thank <laughs> you.
So, um, <laughs> so he wants a volunteer. <laughs> 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 volunteer, and they can't be trolls. <laughs>